Hey y'all, it's good to see you again. If you got a few minutes, why don't you join me for a pipe? And a pour. <laughs> so hope you all fine folks in the YTPC are doing well this week. Uh, beautiful day as uh, falls right around the corner, man. So excited, you guys. So excited. Love this time of year as it starts to cool off a little bit. Um, football season's in full swing. College, pros, even fantasy football for those that partake. Um, I do. It's crazy. It's dumb. But I'm not going to tell you about my fantasy football team, I promise. Because nobody cares. But man, it's fall and, um, well, almost, and we're just excited. Oh. Continuing to settle in here at the new Casa de Pipe and Pour and um, decided to give you guys a little different perspective. Looking into the backyard a little bit as the sun sits back that way. But um, yeah, good to see y'all. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, the pipe tonight, of course, it's Tuesday, I think. It is Tuesday, yes, it's Tuesday, and I figured, you know what, why not bust out the cob? I haven't had this here yet, and, um, hmm, there it is, in the cobbit tonight, hmm, <laughs> current number one on the leaderboard. Still really enjoying Sunbear Tupelo. Look at that deliciousness right there. Fantastic aroma. And it tastes great too. But I had tried it in, um, you know, that last time I visited with you guys, I tried it in my new Savinelli Octagono Due, I learned. Um, which was filtered and it was fantastic. Uh, really, I loved it. First smoke and first smoke of the of the blend, first smoke in that pipe, and I loved it. Probably 10, 11 days ago, I grabbed it again, smoked the second bowl of it um, in the Savinelli Fiamata that my father in law got me for my birthday, which I love. It smokes great. No filter. The first bowl in the Otagono, like I said, with the filter in it was beautiful, lovely. The second bowl in the Fiamata, still a Savinelli, no filter. <clears throat> Either I packed it too tight or I chewed on it way too hard, which I do, or I have no idea what I'm doing, also very true or all of the above, but it lit me up. You know, as you know, the Sun Bear Tupelo is a Virginia-based blend, um, and you do. I mean, you can smell the Virginias, you can taste the Virginias, at least what I think, I, I don't know. But um, it lit me up, and so I took a break for several days, because I was like, I mean, my tongue was just lit up. And so first, you know, back in the spring, doing the codger challenge. I was like, well, maybe I'm having issues with Burley's. Maybe it's that, that pH thing or the chemical, th chemical thing in my mouth that is causing problems. Well, and I know that if you smoke Virginia's too hard, too fast, they'll, they'll heat up on you and, and get you, but this got me bad. So I was like, huh, well, that stinks. I still enjoyed it while I could, but I mean, it still tasted great. It just was hot. So I decided, let's go with the Cobb tonight, give it another run. And um, you probably can't see that. About half the bowl down, and it is sublime. It is. It's great. I love it. Um, the initial char light, I got a, just a big mouthful of that sweet honey floral goodness. Uh, then it sort of settled down um, with just a hint. I mean, it's just a whisper of, of floral, honey, organic. It's all organic, what am I saying? I'm trying to be cool with big words like organic. As my grandfather used to say as a 10 cent word. 
<laughs> but um, but I, you know what I mean. It, it, it's outside the typical tobacco notes that you, that you get in, in flavor and profile, that kind of thing. Um, but really enjoying it. Very much enjoying it. Um, and I, I, on my last video, I mentioned that I think it would make a great summer blend, and it has so far. Um, I still don't understand the whole Virginia's in the summer thing. I need y'all to explain it to me. I need somebody to like, hey, Donnie, this is what we mean, because I don't get it. I've tried to research. I've tried to look at it. I've tried to understand it. I don't. Look at that. Beautiful smoke. It's full, flavorful, and it's not hot. It's not lighting me up. I'm not burning up here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I think it will also, in addition to being a really great summer smoke, I got a feeling it's going to be a nice fall smoke, too. Because there is some of that, that depth and richness to it that I think, to me, lends itself to the cooler weather. Um, I don't, a little bit that I do know <laughs> is that uh, there's a lot of tobaccos that I've tasted that are just sort of, they're one note or there's not a lot of depth to it. It's just sort of, here it is. It's a good tobacco. It's a good smoke. It's just right here, though. Kind of shallow. Um, and for me, this is giving me a little bit more depth. So you've got that top note of the Virginias, I guess it is. And then maybe it's the, um, the Orientals that are mixed in there with it. They're st starting to get just a little bit more depth, which to me, again, makes me think of cooler weathers and shorter days and longer nights and crisp mornings and evenings and all that kind of thing. That got me thinking of something else. Are you guys as excited about fall and winter blend releases as I am? I don't know why. I, I, I mean, I don't know why. But uh, I'm like looking forward to breaking out the Warped Scarecrow. Um, I want to, I need to call Strauss Tobacconist and place an order for their Sleepy Hollow. I hear it's fantastic. Um, LJ Peretti's Thanksgiving Day, another one that I want to get this year because it sounds amazing. But just all of those fall, you know, themed blends. And then, of course, the holidays, you know. I've got more Christmas-themed uh <laughs> tobaccos in there that I, I think I may ever smoke because it just evokes that 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 feeling you know um, I just want to sit down with the pipe and, and enjoy the evening enjoy the day enjoy that 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 time so my question to you guys which um, fall winter holiday themed blends are you guys looking forward to getting your hands on and trying um, I know that I've got I'm hoping that warped does another you know, a reprisal of, of Scarecrow, because I love that stuff. I mean, it, it can be a goopy aromatic, but I loved it. Tastes great, smelled fantastic. Um, God, there were several of the Christmas blends as well. I'm drawing a, drawing a blank right now on them, because I'm sort of focused on uh, Sunbear Tupelo and um, Sleepy Hollow and those. So, yeah, you guys talk to me. Leave me, leave me some, some notes in your comments about uh, any of the, the seasonal blends you're looking forward to. And I tell you, it's just crazy because as soon as you go in and buy a couple of tins of something, the very next week there's another, oh, look, this is coming out soon. Oh, look, this is coming out soon. Oh, can't keep up. Don't try to keep up. It's not worth it. It's just tobacco. There's plenty of it out there. <clears throat> plenty of really good stuff out there. So anyhow... I think that's about all I have for you guys tonight. Just wanted to check in and say hey. Uh, let you know how the uh, my walk with Sunbear Tupelo is going tonight in the Cobb. Um, as I enjoy a beautiful Middle Tennessee summer into fall sunset. So until we get the chance to meet again and 
sit down for a pipe and a pour. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other's. Be well. Talk to you later.